Canadian children's entertainer, broadcaster, and educator Noreen Virgin has died. She was born in Hamilton and was known for her role as Jody in the 1980s kids TV series Today Special. She also appeared on the Polka Dot Door and was the longtime host of CFTO's Eye on Toronto. Virgin passed away earlier this week in Burlington. She was 78 years old. And for more on her life and legacy, we are joined live by her daughter, Nicole Virgin. And Nicole, thank you so much for joining us. I want to offer my deepest condolences to you and your family. We so appreciate you making the time. Of course, of course. It's, uh, it's an honor to be able to speak to her legacy and to, um, you know, maybe give some comfort to people who are feeling sad about um, losing somebody they thought was... Um, kind and loving. I think that's beautifully put. Uh, your mother was a trailblazer in every sense of the word. She was an actor, uh, an activist, a journalist known for her larger than life personality. I'm wondering if you can you can talk about this this loss for so many people. Um, well, I know that Jeff, um, the 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 person that she worked with on today's special, he played the mannequin. Mm. He used to he sang a song and it, it it was like I can do that. And when I you know hear people talking about my mom now, I'm thinking about that song because she really was someone that you know could just do anything, and it, she never hesitated um, to jump on to any task and. Um, you know, as a teacher, she would, you know, be comfortable teaching any subject um, because she really understood the, the core um, process of teaching and what the goals are um, in, in teaching. And the same with television um, and, and in news and in uh, social justice. She just would do it all and, and raise her hand um, eagerly to, um, to support a positive cause. You said that it really felt like your mother could do anything. And in, in many ways, she did do everything. She was an actor. She was an activist. She was a journalist. Um, there were no limits for her. And her career, as you know, began in education um, before she started the hit educational children's series. Uh, today's special. What was it like to watch your mother on screen as Jody? <laughs> well, um... I will say that I, because I was a little bit older when uh, Today's Special um, was broadcasting, um, I thought it was funny because every time, you know, a song would come on, I would have all the words down pat because she was so disciplined and had spent hours and hours and hours at home rehearsing all the songs and rehearsing all the dance numbers. And I could pretty much sing <laughs> along with her. Um, she just it was fun. She was 100 percent. You know, people wonder about was she really that nice or was she really that, you know, upbeat and joyful? She really is that person. And and um, and. Yeah, there. Uh, that was truly her authentic self, and I think that's why she always felt that that work was the most meaningful to her. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of, of meaningful work, in the late 80s and early 90s, she would go on then to work in broadcasting, and she hosted the current affairs show Eye on Toronto on CFTO, now, of course, known as CTV News Toronto. What was it like to, to have her come home and, and talk about that experience? Oh my gosh, she loved Eye on Toronto because it was a variety of topics that she would be able to um, work through every day. And she was so ravenous for new information and so curious. And it was so important for her to support small businesses. You know, I remember when she first did uh, a spot on Tom's Place. And oh, I mean, Tom is now a, a, a cornerstone in the city of Toronto is a total legend but when she first you know met Tom's place I mean this the his his space has grown and grown but certainly when you know she first profiled Tom's place as a small business owner you know he was just so kind and grateful and they they became lifelong friends so all of the small businesses that she worked on she stayed in contact with with those owners and um, their advancement and their um, uh, you know, prosperity became hers. Right. And I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about your mother's activism because she was so passionate about this. Uh, she was a great niece of uh, an escaped slave who came to this country via the uh, Underground Railway. And she worked with several school boards in Hamilton to really make sure that black history was a part of the curriculum. How important was that to her? 
oh, it was everything. I mean, education was, was at the foundation of all of her activities. Um, she always wanted to do things that were meaningful and that would uh, move the conversation forward. And so working in the school board, you know, is important because teachers are our frontline leaders in the classroom. It's important that they feel comfortable um, talking about um, diversity and talking about marginalization. And it's important that our teachers look like our society and that children can see themselves and be inspired by their teachers. But until then, until that moment, it's important that um, we make teachers feel comfortable. And, um, and so, you know, yeah, getting into the classroom and working with school boards uh, to make kids feel really proud about their local black history was absolutely foundational for, for my mom. Yeah, what, uh, what a life, what a career. Nicole Virgin, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk about your mother and uh, for this beautiful conversation. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it.